Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. So if you're new to the channel, we do wilderness medicine presentations and some gear reviews from time to time and how to keep you safe, how to prevent illnesses when you go hiking, camping, anything in the outdoors. Today, we're going to do, do a little bit of a bizarre uh, infection. And the only reason I'm doing this is, one, it is related to the outdoors, and two, Again, there are people out there that are presenting this material and they're dramatizing it big time. And that is, car going by, gone. And that is capnocytophagia. What in the world is that? That is a bacteria that you can get when an animal licks you. Uh, dogs, about 70% of dogs carry it, about 35% of cats carry this organism. And when one of these cases make the news, it is front and center because it has about a 30% mortality rate and it can be pretty devastating in terms of the course of the illness. It is treated with antibiotics, so that's a good thing. You just have to catch it quick. So, as I've said many times, Another car coming by. Hang in there, we're gonna get through this video. As I've said many times, the bacteria in the animal's mouth is directly related to what kind of infection you're gonna get, and it depends on that animal's diet. In bears, they've cultured numerous bear bites and they have not found it in bear saliva, which is kind of surprising. Uh, in fact, one of the organisms in bear saliva is actually in cat saliva. And remember I've said 80% of dog bites, I scratched that, 80% of cat bites get infected, 20% of dog bites get infected. So the incubation period on this bacteria is anywhere from one to 14 days, averages three to five days after you get bitten or licked in the face by a dog or cat. Incidents, here's the big one. Why aren't we hearing about this more often? 0 0.6, less than one per one million. That is a very, very low incidence. Now, am I promoting because of that low incidence, you should let the dog lick you in the face? Of course not. Yeah, so again, common sense. Now, when the dog licks you or bites you and should you get symptoms, what you're gonna see within 12 to 24 hours is little blisters, redness by the rash. Sometimes you'll get a circular type rash, very large splotches. It could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the area of bite or lick in question. So that rash can be anywhere on your body. Uh, and then you get headache, nausea, fever, very sick, need to get into the hospital, need intravenous antibiotics big time. You'll see photographs of people having some amputations of their feet, their extremities, and it gets very scary, hence the media and the news. The antibiotics that will treat this are your penicillins, clindamycin, uh, quinolones, they're all effective in treating this. The whole thing is to get to it early, so that's really important. Um, and that's pretty well it. Again, when you see these incidents on the news, big sigh of relief, go yes, Use prevention. If you should get bit by this, one thing I want to remember, wash it really good with soap and water. Very, very important. Any dog bites, cat bites, you need to get in and get a tetanus update if it's not updated, and we'll go from there. Questions on rabies, I'll post that video at the end of this video, and so you'll be able to learn about rabies kind of coexist with this. All right, guys, coming up, we're going to be doing a review on a brand new wood stove for camping. So stay tuned. Take care. Keep your eyes on the rise and your face to the wind. See you soon.